Welcome back guys, Trav3387 here again. Got a bit of a special one here, a bit of a treat. It's a um, Winchester Model 70, a 270 calibre. It's a 150 year commemorative edition. Um, not 100% with this rifle, so I'll put you over to the guy who knows all about it. So just stay tuned. G'day guys, filling in for Trav here. Tell you about my little uh, 270, my pride and joy. What it is, it's a 150th commemorative. Uh, Winchester 270, only made in 270. They don't make them in any other caliber. This is uh, what Winchester call the rifleman's rifle. They are celebrating 150 years of the 270 caliber, not the 270 rifle. Or sorry, not the Model 70 rifle. Model 70 has been around for a very long time. Now, in saying that, this one here is one of 500 in the world. You will not get it anywhere else. I think. Australia might have one or two left in stock. I'm pretty sure America are sold out You get up close and have a look at the uh, actual rifle itself. You'll see that it's grade 6 American Walnut With comes standard with your pack mite accelerator Monte Carlo stock Beautiful engravings all over it The American legend 1866 to 2016 The finish on it is actually a what they call a deep blue satin. So It's almost like Having a silicon coat on top of the bluing of your rifle makes it more rust resistant, but you still get the beautiful bluing finish The scope I I couldn't cheap out on the scope for a rifle like this one of 500 in the world as I said This is model no, this is make number 426 out of the 500 I had to go all out and get the Carl's Hellier 5, 2.4 to 12 by 56. Even got the red dot reticle inside, and it's um, that's auto glow as well. Like if you've got a dark background, it'll shine brighter, or if it's a bike, a bright background, it'll just shut off. I normally leave it in the off position. I quite like the fine hairs. I even have the commemorative ammo for it. Paying about 70 Australian dollars for 20 rounds. They're 150 grain soft point. I do have reloads because I've owned a number of 270s. I think this is my fifth one in two years. Um, but I won't be getting rid of this one. This is the uh, this is the best one I've found so far. I was told by the uh, gun dealer if I was ever to fire the gun that uh, I need slapping around. But I don't buy my guns for the next person. I buy them for me. The bolt, the bolt is diamond cut, gives it a nice little finish and you wouldn't actually be able to feel it with your hands but with your diamond cut what it also does, it also helps grab the oil that you use to be taking up and down and it won't, it won't lose its um, grip on the bolt so it'll sort of stick with you for a bit longer on the bolt. Um, I do have my reloads here which I've been using in all my 270s, which is just the Sierra 140 grain boat tail hollow points. And uh, I use 53 grains of uh, Winchester 760 through them. But since this is a video for Trav, I told him I'd spoil him and actually fire some of these devils off. Mm, good stuff. They're meant to be uh, the best thing for this rifle. And as I said, if I, as I was told, sorry, if I was ever to shoot this gun with these bullets, I shouldn't be owning a commemorative Winchester, but why buy it to sit in your safe? Mm. Yep, true I, that. I have actually shot uh, a couple of goats with this rifle, and being a 270, it does all that sort of stuff with ease. I'll be taking it out west. I'm going to shoot some pigs, and I have quite a bit of land to shoot some deer on, so... This is sort of the when you want a bit of a tickle and feel special when you're shooting. I'll put three through it for you guys. And uh, yeah, it's an absolute masterpiece to shoot this thing. It, it really is the best 270 I've ever owned. And uh, yeah.
There you have it guys. The rifleman's rifle, as they call it. I couldn't ask for much better. Even the crowning in the end of the barrel just gives me a super accurate load. Like, I've reloaded a lot of rifles and I own, I own quite a lot of rifles. And some rifles I've uh, attempted to break over my knee because they've been finicky or I had uh, one 270 that I just, I ended up selling it because I, I just, it would not shoot. No matter what I've done with it, factory, I've tried nearly every factory on the planet, wouldn't shoot. But this here, I used the reloads from my old 270. All I had to do was bring them out a mil to get closer to the lands. And happy days, absolute happy days. This rifle will stay with me for life, so I'm not thinking of the resale value when I shoot it. I'm thinking of the joy that I get. They give a guys the um, price you paid for it, like all told. Uh, the rifle, I paid 3850, 3850 Australian dollars. And then the scope, I paid $3,250. It's all up, it owes me about 7000 But um, absolutely well worth it. Even in the serial number, I won't tell you the serial number of my actual gun, but it's Model 70, then it's got your calibre, then it's got your build number, and then it's got a little number extra just to make yours stand out from the difference. So, yeah, it is something really special. Yeah, nice. That's the go. It is a bit of a treat, guys, this one. Not, not many times you get to play with something worth about seven grand, especially shooting something, you know, it's worth 70 bucks or 20 rounds of ammunition. So, thanks, Ben. Cheers for that, mate. No worries. We'll get the uh, couple of other commemorative ones out I've got... Uh, couple of days should be fun thank you thanks for that Ben um, so yeah thanks again guys hope you liked the video um, like subscribe um, yeah so thanks again guys we'll be seeing you again soon